Okay, the High Tech Nomad here with part two of my hands-on with the Galaxy Gear 2. So I've been wearing it for about 24 hours, and it's a good thing I didn't do this second part of the review until then because there were some things that were blatantly wrong, and I had to actually play with it, and I'm going to go over that so that you don't run into the same experiences that I did. All right, so... Here we have the new gear manager, uh, which, as far as I know, will work with both the old Galaxy Gear, the original Galaxy Gear, and the Galaxy Gear 2. I think you can actually have two paired up at the same time. It kind of makes it a little crazy, but that's okay. But it definitely will take more than one device. So, mine is off. I was just charging it so I could do this review. And although you do, it probably is a longer battery life because you're using it more it's probably going to last about the same so there so yeah it probably on paper it probably does last longer but in reality it's gonna i've already had to charge it like a couple of times um during the course of usage but i'll 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 do an in-depth piece on that in a little bit to tell you exactly how that is okay so here we have I've turned it on. As you can see, the new gear manager recognizes that. And let's go through what we have. All right, so we have connected or paired devices. I did have my other one paired up. I took it off right now just so I don't drive it absolutely crazy while we're doing this. We have home screen styler, and that lets you use any of your own images. And then they have some stock images that you can use. That's fine. And then there's some actual, just some plain colors. It does change in real time, so if I go ahead and I click on that and click done, it will go ahead and change that. Okay, and done and change that. Okay, our clocks. We have uh, a number of different clocks here that you can use. I prefer to use just this one with the the. Uh, you can change your shortcuts to the top three items that you use, and then they do have some nice little ones here that, I mean, that you, I don't know if you can tell that much from looking at this, but this actually does look very nice. This one's kind of a weird uh, 3D glasses kind of a look one, and we're okay. Notably, there is not the same styler, the watch styler that I think was the only thing that we all played with because it was the only thing that really was really cool. Uh, you can change your own background, and then you can goof around with it a little bit, but it's not the same as the full watch styler that we had before for the original uh, Galaxy Galaxy Gear, sorry. All right, so then we have fitness. I haven't really played with this this much. I've been having a tremendously hard time getting it to uh, keep track of my, or to do my heartbeat. Um, I know it has the little sensor on the back and I know it's a light thing and I'm not saying anything. I don't know if my skin's causing it a problem, but I've only been able to get it to do it once. So I'm gonna have to check into that and see exactly what's going on now notifications this was a major major pain back on the original galaxy we went probably four months four out of the six months without full notifications and the reason i say i'm glad i didn't do this review last night is because while we were seeing all the notifications they were actually not coming through and i'll show you why that is and then you can tell me why they did it this way so, in any event, they have these things that say instant alerts and then notifications. And I'm not quite sure. I think the instants are instants. Notifications do take a few minutes to come. I shouldn't say a few minutes. But if I get a text message in, uh, it may come on here. And I might, have to, I might count to 30 before it actually shows up here. So, I don't know if why they're saying instant and notifications. But that's fine. So, then they have all the, the standard ones. And then, basically, they have all of your other apps and you can pick which apps that you want to use. Now, I picked this last night. Let's actually go over one. Uh, uh, actually, I don't do it on here. I do it on the other one. All right, I'll ex explain what happened there. Well, so the first thing that they do, and I've checked with a couple of people, is for some bizarre reason, this one here. See, it says limit notifications. That seems to be, for some people, on by default. So that means, and it says, what it basically does is it stops all notifications except for incoming calls and alarms. Why you would do that, I don't know. So what I'm saying is, is if you go in and you pick all these, 
and you don't change this, turn this off, if this is on by default, you'll never see a notification. And I thought that they, it, when we first got the watch, the original Galaxy, there were updates that would turn on and turn off the notifications, and there was a lot of problems. Bottom line, notifications are working now, provided you have this turned off. This has got to be turned off. For whatever reason, it's on. I, I don't know why they did that. Uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to have the preview message so you actually see it. If this is not on, it gives you the ever-popular you got a message, but if you really want to see what it is, why don't you go and look on the phone, which is obviously pretty useless. So you want to leave that preview message on. Smart relay just simply means if a message, if you're looking at a text message and then you say, oh, and you pick up your phone, it will realize that you probably, it's in regards to that text message and will bring that up. So it's kind of nice to have. Okay, so there's all your, your pieces. Okay. So then we have My Apps, and these are all the apps. Now, one of the things that they don't do is they don't allow you to change the order of the apps. So, for example, when I'm going through and sliding through on this, I can't select the order of the apps. I have to keep them in whatever the order that is. That's kind of a pain because I do actually, uh, I would rather, instead of it going to Phone Logs, which I probably never use, and then Dialer, I would rather have Dialer first and then Contacts or something. Okay. Uh, now, the other thing is, which is just something I just showed you there now, when you first get it, by default, by default, your icons are in this mini mode. So you get four on a screen at a time, and you can pick from those four on a screen. I personally don't like to have them that small, so you use a two-finger pinch out, and it will now give it to you so that they're one at a time. I actually would prefer to do it this way and then hit the one that I want. Let's actually take a look at the notification since we're here. As you can see, it's doing my Zendesk, my email, and my messages. And I'm going to talk about email in a minute because that was another one of those horror stories. All right, so same things that we saw before. The ones with the gears, you have some things that you can change. Not a lot. The camera, I can say whether to automatically transfer it to the phone or not and whether I want it to print the words Galaxy Gear on it or not. On contacts, so when I go to the contacts button, when I come to the uh, contacts icon, I can select what I want it to show me. Do I want it to show me all of my contacts or just my favorites? I chose to say favorites. I just haven't actually added my favorites at this particular point. Controls, so it's telling you that this is there, but there's nothing you can change on this. Dialer, there's nothing you can change on an email. This was a son of a gun. All right, so in email, it automatically will list the one that you have. Now, if I'm using an Exchange email server, and this wasn't working. I actually had to delete my uh, email account and add it back in through here, and then it was actually working. So again, I'll mention that. So if you're using Exchange and you've checked off that box on the other one that says email and you're not getting email notifications, I think it's a security issue. And what has to happen is you have to delete your email account on your phone, come in here, add an account, and set it right back up. If you do not do that, you will not get uh, email notifications on your phone. And that took me a long time to figure out what was going on. Okay. Exercise, find my device, gallery, heart rate, logs. Again, all of these without anything means you can't change anything. Messages, it will let you actually use a different messaging app. So, for example, if you're using WhatsApp or one of those other ones, you can actually change it. I'm just using the standard message one. The music player. Now, the music player is the new built-in music player. You click on that. You click on send tracks, and you can actually pick whichever track you want to send. You push and hold. It's actually kind of weird because you have to push and hold it, and then I can click them, and then I can hit send, and that will send it to the phone itself. If I don't, it just starts playing it, which is kind of goofy. Uh, notifications, again, nothing. Uh, uh, pedometer, nothing. S-Voice, and I'm going to talk about S-Voice in a minute. Do you want it to read back? That's fine. Schedule, settings, stopwatch, again, just a couple little things. Do you want to keep the screen dim dimmed while you're doing the stopwatch or the timer or whatever? Uh, voice memo, do you want to automatically transfer it to the phone and, and text-to-speech, use the data, what language, that kind of thing, nothing there. Weather is uh, 
how often for some reason it was set to six hours i would prefer to have it check the weather a little better than that but that's all right um and then sleep and then of course they have the samsung apps and those are the apps that you can add and again there's there's nothing here folks okay so let's just take a look at it so here we have one two three four five we have five and two of them are goofy things so that's five let's go to finance finance has one for a dollar they'll give you a calculator so that's six health and fitness this whatever this is that's seven lifestyle uh no, did we have feedly back up here because they tend to see feedly's up here that's the other thing that they do they put the same thing in like three different categories so we won't count that we'll count seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen you can see that these are these are um watch faces and they're two bucks a piece so you can forget about that all right um then we have see again this was this is a duplicate so 9 10 11 12 something like that i maybe lost count but that's all right but you get the idea and then there's watch faces again and then so you can see the calculator so there's not that many and on top of that i have not been able to get any of these to load so for example i do actually use um life 360 and all it does when i say to install any of these things is it says i'm installing and then it says install for like an hour and then it says i'm sorry i can't install it so i'm assuming they realize that's a problem i'm waiting to see who else complains okay find my gear that's the ever popular i'll put your gear in okay so, I can, so if I can't find the gear, and then of course on the gear it has find my phone, so that's fine. Uh, and then down in settings, again, not that much. They do have a backup and a restore. It was doing that before, but now I, I don't remember if it actually had a field for it. But anyway, so you can, once you get it set up the way you want, you can do a backup and then you can restore to that. What happens when you double press the home key? That's going to be a, um, that's going to be, in my case, I have S voice, which I'm, that we'll get to that in a second the lock to auto lock your phone if it move if you move too far the wake up gesture so for example if you bring your arm up it'll figure it out um it's, it's actually pretty decent actually it's decent and it's not decent it's decent because all right you can see i got a four square notification here my friend rebecca is, oh she it where's she at she's not kelly's roast beef is she i think she is is not too far from my house i should call it all right and that's what's good about foursquare all right the wake up gesture uh the reason i said it was bad is it i kept moving during the night this is actually extremely bright in a dark room and so i would turn over and the next thing i know i'd be waking up because it was like what is this light in the room and it actually was the watch so i might turn that off and then what happens when you do text input how do you want to put text in they give you a choice of templates s voice or emoticons I have it set on template right now. I may change it to S voice, and I'll show you why in a second. I, I know that that surprises many of you, but we'll talk about that. Then I have edit your predefined text templates. So I have one that says, hey, I got your message on my watch, and I read it, but I can't respond right back. Obviously, I'll call you later. Yes, okay, and no. And I think there's like three others I need, and I can survive for the rest of my life with just those those pieces uh incoming calls do i want to answer that with a by saying accept or reject the unknown sources the open uh license and so on and so forth okay so i said i would talk about s voice and that's because I i'm assuming because they're using their own operating system now s voice actually works so let's um let's actually pull that up What's the weather in Estonia? Here is the weather for Tallinn, Harjama. Looks like clear skies today. So it actually works very, very well. Maybe again because it's on their own operating system and they were able to cut corners and do things that they may not have been able to do under the Android, but this actually works now. Call 617-555-1212. That's... This is much faster, much better 
than I had on my um, on my, my. This is usable. This is literally usable. I've always turned off S Voice before, but it's it's fine now. What's the weather like tomorrow? Looks like we'll have both sun and rain on Sunday. Okay, that doesn't do everything. Let's let's take a look and see what you can do. What can I say? Okay. So under call, I can call, dial, I can say call a certain person. I can say read a text message. I can say text a person and start saying what the message is. I can say find this person. I can say when is such and such birthday, which doesn't come up too often. I can set myself a memo. I can add an event. I can create a task. I can open an app and uh, timer and weather. So I've actually been using it for those pieces. So for example, open music player. Open music player. I swear to you, I have not heard the, I didn't catch that in all the time I've been using this. I, you, obviously on the old one, if you had the old one, you should be hopefully laughing at this point because you know what happens. Every time you ask this thing, she goes, I didn't catch that. This has actually been extremely usable. So I'm going to actually uh, work with that a lot. All right. So since now we're at the music player, what can we do with the music player? Well, we can play music. And uh, let's see. And I alluded to this yesterday. This actually, for me, I actually do do that sometimes. I would just like, I'm just walking around. I'm doing some stuff. Um, my phone's on the table. I do wish I could just play some music real quick. The speaker is decent to begin with. It's not super loud, but if you're by yourself and, you know, you just want to just have something to, to hum to, this works just fine. So let's also go in and take a look and see how do I actually play it with an external, with some, some other device. So, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into settings. And I'm going to go down to Bluetooth, and I'm going to say Bluetooth headset. And I already have it synced up. This is the little cheap one I bought it. I think I bought it at Walgreens for like 15 bucks, so it was fine. So I have my my uh, jam box here, my huge jam box, and I will uh, put it in pairing mode. Jam box is in pairing mode. Waiting for device to connect. So she's waiting for the device to connect. I'm just going to go scan. Come on, buddy, buddy. Come on. Unless you can only do one. No? Okay, good. I was going to say. That would be a... Big gem box paired. Okay. So that now means I can play music from my watch to this gem box without my phone. And when I, I travel a lot and when I'm sitting by the pool, I usually have this with me. So I actually now can play music to this without having to look for my phone or if my phone's upstairs charging, um, that works fine too. So let's actually start the music player. Open music player. Open music player. Yeah, you all thought she was going to disappoint me. No, I got faith in her now. So now I can hit play. And I can control the sound. Yep. You've been safety inspector for two years. What initiatives have you spearheaded in that time? Uh, all of them? I see. Then you must have some good ideas for the future as well. I sure do. Like. Well, uh, oh, gosh, I love Well, it. I wish the candy machine wasn't... So obviously the music's good because I'm using a three hundred dollars speaker, but you get the idea. You get the idea that I can use this to talk to this. Now the idea that they had behind this is that when you're going to go out for a walk or a run, 
um, if you didn't want to take your phone with you, but you wanted to have some music, that you could use the music player to play to your headset. And I, I actually might do that. But like I said, myself personally, I probably would use it to talk from here to the um, when I'm sitting by the pool because now this is, um, I won't say waterproof, water resistant, I think up to one meter, which is three feet of water for not forever, but for a few seconds, if you were to dunk your hand in it, but certainly enough, if you're sitting by the, by the pool or something like that, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, again, this one, I'm as soon as the water comes, it starts to rain, I have to cover my wrist up. So other than that, it's fine. All right. So this is thinner. By the way, we didn't really talk about that yesterday or in, the, in part one. Uh, is thinner. They did move the camera. We already talked about that. I mean, you already know that. I've used the camera a couple of times uh, during the day. It didn't seem much. When I say didn't seem much different, I mean um, it wasn't like because they moved it from down there to up here did I have a, a tougher time taking pictures. No, everything was fine. As I mentioned, the only thing is, is that it is extremely loud as far as the uh, letting you know that it's taking a picture. And again, I think that's to make sure there's no creep factor there. Um, I hate to say, um, let's see what else. The sound, very, 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 very pleased with the sound quality on the phone. For those of you who had the original, what happened was, is the microphone was, I can't even find the hole for it. Microphone is, oh, there it is. So the microphone is there, and the speaker was down here. And I found myself constantly saying, hello, how are you? They're turning my wrist, and they'd say, I'm fine. All right, I'll be home later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. What's going on? This one here, the speakers are over here. The microphones are on either side, and uh, have not had any, any issues with that. Let's just call somebody real quick. Okay, and stick at the answer. Okay, but the sound was um, I had no problem with the sound. Um, and talking to people, I was all set with that. Again, you can um, send phone calls. So if you want to start it here and then pick up your phone, if it becomes a, pr a private conversation, or if you're on your phone and you want to send it to your watch, you can do that as well. Uh, it supports uh, having a speed dial, so you can set the speed dial up so you don't have to hit the whole phone number in. Uh, in general, I was very uh, impressed with the ability to to use this very very impressed it, the sound was much better so last night when i went to bed uh, before i st uh, i'm sorry actually before i took my nap before i got up to go out because i was out until three o'clock in the morning last night before i went to bed i was really telling my wife there was a very good possibility i was going to send this back because i was not getting the notifications i was having some other issues obviously i couldn't load the software and there were some other things going on and i'm glad that I, I took the time and that's why i wanted to share these things with you to say, okay, hey, you know, stick with it. I actually went to go look. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm actually really wanting the rose colored or the gold color or copper colored. Unfortunately, I can't find any. Um, I think I got the only one in the Boston area at this particular point. I actually had to go to uh, about a dozen stores. And when I went back today, they are like, no, we don't have any. We're all sold out. In any event. So uh, my final verdict is if you do not have one of these, and you were trying to pick between the two, obviously, definitely go with the Gear 2. You're going to be much happier. It's much more responsive. It's waterproof. It's thinner. I actually wore this to bed last night, which I don't with this. And I didn't with this for two reasons. One, because it was thicker. And two, because I was taking that time to charge it. So this one actually was, so I said, the battery is better, but you use it for more things. As I said, I use the... Um, the me the sound pl the music player a lot and that obviously is going to kill the battery and obviously every time that i was moving my arm the light would come on and that was going to kill the battery as well so there's some things you have to change in that what's the weather like tomorrow looks like we'll have both sun and rain on sunday okay 
And again, for those of you who hate S voice, you're probably going, I can't, I've never seen it work that many times in a row correctly. And as I said, maybe because they're using their own operating system now, they can get around some things uh, that was a problem before. So 